Praise God, praise God, everybody. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Today is day, um, I think it's 19. That's it, day 19 of the fast. Now, here's how we did the fast. We, we started as a liquid fast, okay? But I kind of felt in the spirit that people were giving up, that they were, you know, tr really not sticking to the fast. Let's just be honest. And I wanted... You know, God was like, I want them to succeed. I don't want to condemn them to come under condemnation. I don't want them to feel like they got to give up or anything like that. So basically what I did is I said, okay, if you want to shift to doing the liquid fast from seven to 12 or five to three, and then just revert to a Daniel fast. So as of Sunday, the 21 day fast is over. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. I'm going to keep going. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm so sorry, but not sorry. I'm going to keep going. You're welcome to join me. If you don't, there's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. But let me tell you something where we at. The remnant, the remnant, God said, we got to get in position. I told you this is the Joshua generation. Come on, somebody. It is time for us to stand. It is time for us to lift up the bloodstained banner. It is time for us to walk in the anointing of God, the power of God, the presence of God. That's demonstration. No more just talking, honey. No, can you lay hands? Can you cast out? Ain't nobody playing no more. Ain't nobody playing. It's over, God says. It is time to walk in that thing, talk in that thing, move in that thing. The presence of God, the power of God. These devils think they're running stuff. God said not so. They're not running anything but their mouth. The power of God is getting ready to hit this earth, getting ready to hit the remnant, getting ready to hit the church. I see revival. I see revival. I see revival. And I'm talking about this year. By the end of this year, God is not playing. That's why it's a shift. Let me slow it down. There's a shift. I'm going to say it again. There's a shift. That's why he's, he's realigning everything. And it feels uncomfortable. Oh, people are mad. As a matter of fact, I, I have a second part of this video. So the fast ends on the 21st. But we're going to keep going to a Daniel fast. We're going to convert to a full Daniel fast starting on Sunday. That's right. Ain't no bricks. And y'all know I've never done this. Come on, somebody. But I'm telling you what God said. God said, this is not the time to retreat, but this is the time to charge the kingdom of darkness. This how y'all acting? This what we doing? Then let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stick with God. We're in the tabernacle days, in case you don't know. We got to move like God move. Come on, somebody. We got we to gotta say what thus saith the Lord. So let me tell you the second part of this video. Y'all got to stop adhering to false doctrine. Now, I got two things I want to say. People don't want to be rebuking this hour. People don't want to be corrected in this hour because this is what's happening. Hollywood and everything else, the ways of the world, all the stuff with the rappers. Oh, I'm going here. All the stuff in the world, even with the political scene. It's just chaos. It's just do what you want to do. Do what thy will. God says, nay, said God. He says, I have a standard in place and you cannot stop my standard because I'm God. Now, I noticed this other standard and I don't know who started this lie, but I'm about to hit that lie straight up in the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't want sound doctrine. Y'all don't want nobody to tell you nothing. The way protocol and the way of the old is that we told the truth to you. Uh, I, I, now all of a sudden your little feelings get hurt I, 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 You can't take nothing Excuse me Even the people that I were under They didn't play with me If you really want to preach this gospel You better live it If you want to teach this gospel You better live it Y'all sitting up there wanting to do this and do that And thinking nobody going to tell you nothing Well news flash The remnant don't care about your little feelings you love, We love you But we don't care about your little feelings You get mad Try to look all hard faced and sticking up As if you're going to scare somebody Don't you know that when the power of God is on somebody They ain't scared not even of a bullet Y'all ain't ready for me for real Y'all don't want nobody to tell you nothing, so I'm going to bring scripture to you. When David was in sin with Bathsheba, Nathan went to him. Nathan said he did a parable about how, hold on, let me, let me go to it. Let me go to it. He say, hold on, I'm going to start on um, the whole thing. I'm going to start with the whole thing. Okay. So Nathan went to him and he did, he say, one day. A guest arrived at the home of the rich man, but instead of killing an animal for his own flock or herd, he took the poor man's lamb and killed it and prepared it for his guest. Hold on. I'm going to walk that thing out. Hold on. Okay. On to the next one. Hold on. Next verse. I'm in 2 Samuel, by the way. 2 Sam 12. And then he said, David was furious. As surely as the Lord lives, he vowed, any man who would do such a they deserve to die. So this is 2 Samuel 12, 5. Because at this point, David don't know it's him, right? All right. 2 Samuel 12, 6. He says, 
and he should restore the lamb fourfold, fourfold because he did such a thing and because he had no pity. All right, 2 Samuel 12, 7. I'm reading that one. Then Nathan said unto David, you are that man. This is what the Lord of God of Israel says. I anointed you king over Israel and I delivered you from the hand of Saul. And that was the word of God. Nathan went to that man of God. David was still anointed, but David had sinned against God. God will always tell you about yourself. You see, we want to hear about other people's sins and, and what other people doing. But truth be told, the true anointing of God is going to make you look in the mirror. Because how can you teach? How can you preach? How can you reach if you're not healed and delivered? And that's what's wrong with the body of Christ. You got broken people trying to minister into broken people. And now you're producing a broken generation. I'm telling you the truth before God. Come on, somebody. I'll you. Let's go to the other one. John the Baptist. Mark 6, come on somebody, hallelujah, I'm going to walk this thing out, don't worry about it. Mark 6, 18, for John had been saying to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And as you know, his wife got mad, made his daughter, you know, dance, provoke him, anything you want in the kingdom. And her mother told him, say, I want the head of John the Baptist. And I went to the shift to show you. To the dynamics of the two scriptures. She got so mad. Because he called that out. He called out sin. That, that's what really got him killed. Because he called out sin. Come on somebody. Somebody walk with me up in here. They get mad when you call out sin. Oh they look to crucify you. They want to talk about you. They want to put stuff on Facebook. There it is. I caught it. You put it. I caught it. And here it is. Mm-hmm. This is how we doing it. This is how we going to do it to the day I die, by the way. Y'all thought I was crazy. You have no idea the anointing that's on my life right now. I'm not playing with anybody. God not playing with me, and I'm not playing with y'all. I'm going to tell it just like a T.I. is. You can get mad. You can go to Facebook, Crookbook, TikTok, Walk Walk. I really don't care because you're not my God. But I'm going to catch it. You throw it. I'm a true prophet. I'm going to catch it. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'm going to address it. I ain't going to call your name out, but I'm going to address it. Y'all don't want to tell nobody to tell you nothing. But what you don't understand is, as it says in Isaiah, let me go to the scripture. I ain't even playing with y'all no more. I'm going to scripture. Because you see, when you just talk, you know, it, it just, you know, it means a little bit to people. But it's something about that scripture. It, that's what we need to do. Because that's how Jesus, let me tell y'all something. That's how Jesus actually beat Satan. He went to the scripture. He didn't play with that. He didn't play. He did not play. Just one moment. Bear with me. And I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it so real. I'm going to keep it so real today. It wasn't any of you that did it. It was somebody in my class got offended. Because, oh, it's tight in that class right now. It's real tight. He, <laughs> he ain't playing with none of us, honey. Mm -hmm. And since he coming for me, I'm coming for you. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah! I feel the power of God. Nobody playing. Y'all know what time it is. Do y'all know what's coming? Oh no, y'all don't know what's coming. Don't worry. I got another video to do after this. I'm gonna tell you what's coming. I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, they messing with my computer. I can tell. Oh yeah, they've they been doing all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you they hit me from behind? I'm okay, though. And I ain't even tripping. You know, most people, oh, I just got my car. Now, oh, that's a car. <laughs> Come, y'all don't hear me. That's a car. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all, they don't want me to find that scripture. Can you believe that? Okay, hold on. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I know how I'm going to do it. Yeah, you know. I mean, come on. Mm -mm -mm. My God. Okay, okay. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. I mean, I've never had this much trouble, and it still is not coming up. Can y'all believe this? Can y'all believe this? Can you believe this? And I'm, I'm on my phone because something wrong with my computer, brand new computer. They doing all kind of stuff. Oh, they mad right now. They mad. They mad. They mad. But I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get that one. I don't care. Uh, okay. 
All right, finally, finally. I wasn't stopping. I wasn't stopping. Praise God. Okay, here we go. So Ezekiel 3.18 says, When I say unto thy wicked that thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. Do y'all understand what that means? Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. That's, that's scripture. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Excuse me. Do y'all understand what that means? Because I don't think y'all understand what that means. I'm going to read it one more time. Ezekiel 3, 18 says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. We are mandated. And hold on, not just leaders, because every last one of you are a minister. Y'all sitting up there letting people get away with this. I don't want to say nothing. We're going to just pray for them. You don't know if they promise tomorrow. What if they die in that iniquity? That is, then God will hold you responsible and accountable. People playing, people playing, people playing in this hour. This is not the time to play. And now hold on. You don't have to be ugly about anything. But I, I am finding out more and more, people don't want you to tell them anything. They want God to tell them. News flash, God uses people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, you want God to just come and tell you, thou are sinning. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Y'all better stop acting crazy. Let it grow up. That, that's what time it is. This is the year for spiritual maturity. When you was in the world, you acted tough, rough, and everything else. How come you won't get in the body of Christ? Ooh, they hurt my feelings. Hello? <laughs> this stuff real it's real you can't make this up hallelujah to his name so god bless you god keep you i'm getting ready to get back on because i've just said the lord this one will not be so cute because uh, um well i didn't even know that we were out I, I think they said we was at war with iran well i think i know what's going on because i was supposed to do this video like three days ago but i just couldn't i've been so busy my god so i'm getting ready to get back on here so rejoin me okay god bless you god keep you Y'all know what time it is. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.